welcome to part 2 video tutorial in lifting engine ok now we want to create the lifter so this is the most important part so we start with the rectangle and set the width to 100 and the height to 10 then click on rounding now extrude that rectangle and set the extrude depth to 10 ok now we want the cap with the fillet and the radius I think 0.25 or set it to both sides and increase that subdivisions ok now we created legs now we want the screw so create a cylinder and the radius 3.5 and height 11 now go to caps and add some fillet So we want align it correctly. So go to coordination and set the position and uh, then click center. Okay, the extrude rectangle make it center. Then go to cylinder and Forty-five. Now copy that cylinder. You can rename it for easily understand. So arm um, start and arm um, end and also you start to extrude end the layer correctly now we want to create a null object using all um, shift key then just release to the upside then add all the object to that null so when we click the null the starting coordination is the arm start ok now create a cloner and set the cloner coordination to 0 then go to coordination increase um, before increasing just change the position and go to transform and add some rotation around minus 45 now go to cap object and increase the count around 6 now go to cloner and effector add a formula effector you can use so many formulas effectors and we don't want position and scale we want rotation in formula so just tick off and change the formula to mold ID ok now go to transform go to rotation and set it to 90 degree and change the position before changing position transform space change to effector and just increase the position and align to equally and also we want to okay. 
and copy that value and paste it in cloner value now you are creating a basic chain basic arm now we want it to we want to rig it so so copy at cloned and I do all expect a copied cloner so that's the ba backup now just press C for editable cloner and rename it to end and we want we want I we want rigging it so but we want to change the align of layers correctly so just the sub okay if you move the a0 or oh, everything is moved if you move the a2 after a2 let's move okay it's the basic rigging now we want to rig we want to add some rig and select the end object and first object and go to character commands create ik chain okay now you have a two object i i uh, am and goals now just we if you just move that now you can see the different so just delete that we want to uh, ik between each arms so go to a0 and a1 and press create ik chain now a3 to a4 create ik chain then arm end and rename to a and and select a and and a4 then create a kg okay so if you move this one and this one okay you can see the ik is working now we want to add some mechanical rigging so You move that one and also everything is moved so create a car uh, constraint cut back to a1 goal and a4 a2 goal and a4 goal and add a psr position value then create go to psr tab and add new target then set the a1 in zero and eight four and select the eight. Okay, now it's working. If you move the a four, uh, a two and a zero is perfectly triggered. And go to a four goal, select the PSR and add two target and set the a two and end goal. you move this end goal you can see it's perfectly rigged set this sub as our main layer now we want to copy it just to copy that and change the name and 
also rotate that object this is not necessary if you remain it you can control it well so our basic if trace okay now copy these two and go to our scene and just paste it paste it Replace with our friend. Okay. So send this end goal A plus B. Both of them you can perfectly animate that. Okay. So see you in next part for this all basically everything about dynamics